Hello students. In this video, we will be studying colligative properties of electrolytes. The study of colligative properties of electrolytes require a different approach than used for the colligative properties of non-electrolytes. The experimental observations for the colligative behavior of the electrolytes is as follows. The solutions of electrolytes also exhibit colligative properties which do not obey the relations of non-electrolytes. The colligative properties of the solutions of electrolytes are greater than those to be expected for solutions of non-electrolytes of the same concentration. The molar masses of electrolytes in aqueous solutions determine by colligative properties are found to be considerably lower than the formula masses. Why the colligative properties of electrolyte solutions are greater than those for non-electrolyte solutions of the same concentration? One formula unit of an electrolyte dissolved in water produces two or more ions. Thus, the number of particles in solution increases. For example, one molecule of NaCl in water dissociates to produce one Na plus and one Cl minus ion. Thus, two ions are produced from one molecule of NaCl. As the value of any colligative property depends on the number of particles of the solute, Therefore, the experimentally observed value of the colligative property comes out to be higher than the theoretically expected value. As the molecular mass is inversely proportional to the colligative property, the observed molecular mass comes out to be less than the theoretically expected value. To obtain the colligative properties of electrolyte solutions, by using relations for non-electrolytes, Van Toff suggested a factor I. Van Toff factor I is defined as the ratio of colligative property of an electrolyte to the colligative property of a non-electrolyte of the same concentration. I is equal to colligative property of electrolyte solution divided by colligative property of a non-electrolyte solution of the same concentration. Therefore, I is equal to delta Tf upon delta Tf0 is equal to delta Tb upon delta Tb0 is equal to delta P upon delta P0 is equal to pi upon pi0. The quantities without subscript refer to electrolytes and those with subscript refer to non-electrolytes. Van Toff factor I can also be defined in other way as follows. I is equal to actual moles of particles in solution after dissociation divided by moles of formula units dissolved in solution. This is equal to formula mass of substance upon observed molar mass of substance that is equal to m theoretical upon m observed. For non-electrolytes, I is equal to 1. For NaCl, KNO3, that is the solutes which produce 2 ions in the solution, I is equal to 2. For the ionic compounds which produce 3 ions in the solution, I is equal to 3. Thus, for strong electrolytes, the number of ions produced by one molecule of the electrolyte is its Van Toff factor I. The expressions of colligative properties for non-electrolytes are to be modified so as to make them applicable for electrolyte solutions. The colligative properties for electrolyte solutions can be obtained by multiplying the equation of the colligative property by Van Toff factor I. 
the relation between van der factor i and degree of dissociation alpha of a weak electrolyte is as follows alpha is equal to i minus 1 upon n minus 1 where n is the number of moles of ions obtained from dissociation of one mole of the weak electrolyte i hope you have understood the colligative properties of electrolytes thank you for watching the video